الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله as we mentioned shirk billah is a grievous, the most grievous sin as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned in authentic hadith should i tell you what is the greatest of sins you know akbar kabair and then he mentioned shirk billah associating partner with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it shows us the urgency of tawhid of knowing what tawhid and shirk are and that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him fiqh. Fideen, understanding of the religion. And that understanding of the religion is a part of understanding that religion. Is knowing what tawheed and shirk are. Knowing tawheed and shirk. Not just fiqh. Not just mu'amalat. But all aspects of the religion. And the core of the religion, which is tawheed. And that which negates it which is shirk. And so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ وَنْ يُشْرِكُ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونِ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِهِ الْكِرِيمِ Verily Allah does not forgive that you associate partners with Him, but He forgives other than that, for whomsoever he pleases. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't forgive that you die upon shirk. And that requires knowing what shirk is. That you cannot associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any act of ibadah. And now that we're in Dhul Hijjah, the Muslims from around the world will be sacrificing for Eid al-Adha. And with that being the case, Habitatullah, that means that there will be the opportunity for those who are ignorant or those who are deviant to be misguided and misguide others during this time and sacrifice to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sacrifice to their wali, sacrifice for some dead saints. Sacrifice to the malaika and all various forms of shirk because adab huwa ibadah, huwa min ibadah. That dhab or sacrificing it is from it is an act of worship and so the mu'min should be fearful of shirk and should be conscious of shirk and studying shirk because it negates your tawheed. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us in you, guide us in you, forgive us in you and protect us from shirk. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of Ahlul Tawheed. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم